Hi everyone, it's Dr. Lana. Welcome back to Lana's Little Things with me, specialist dermatologist, talking all things on living age less to be caregiving, bridging generational gaps, and entrepreneurship. So welcome back. Good morning, good evening, good night. And guess who I am joined with? This is Phoenix. And Phoenix decides to grace us with his presence every now and then. So since he's done that, he's going to join in on the discussion. And this is exactly what, not exactly, but you know, you take the impromptus with, with the plans, right? So what I was going to talk about is letting, the, the importance of letting go. And the importance of how we let go. As it relates to older persons, this is a conversation we've had before. I'm just going to make it short because it's not always a conversation everyone wants to have. But everyone thinks when you're saying let go, I'm sure you thought letting go, meaning oh, I must prepare for the end. I must prepare for the, the inevitable. If you're a caregiver, well, that's coming. Mm -hmm. I'm a cat mom to an older cat. That's coming. No. Actually, that's not what I was going to talk about. What I wanted to say was letting go. It's a new, it's going to be a new year soon. This is December 12th. How it's December 12th, I have no idea. But it is December 12th. And right about now, the people are thinking of their end of year celebrations and so on. Many who don't are also are whether you do or not you are thinking about a new year a new you a new thing what's going to happen next year all the uncertainty well, what did i do what happened this year can i encourage let's press a pause on that and look at what we're letting go of in a different way and suggesting that we have a theme maybe for this year and go into a theme for next year so Personally, I have a theme for every year. I've done it for about 10, 11 years now, maybe more, but it, it, they always seem to reconcile with what happens, whether I call it or not, I don't know. But think about what the previous year, what this year, which is going to be the previous year soon, has meant to you. Did it fulfill? Well, not. It didn't take all the boxes. Were there a lot of unexpected things? Oh, yes. I think this year was a doozy for unexpected things. I'm going to put unexpected. The unexpected. And faith for the middle as my two themes for 2023. And where and there am I going to let go? Let go of what my expectations were. And we can do this. Let go of what your expectations were for this year. But also add in... And think of the person that you became, despite that need to have faith for the middle, despite that unexpected event, despite the challenges, despite the, you know what I mean, that, that says it all. And transition into a year, which is going to also have its unexpected, but where you're at least going to have some clarity, whatever you became, whatever you learned, you keep it to yourself, you can keep it in your heart, what you're going to do for the following year. So this year, may I suggest we use it as a reflection of what happened, who we became, and what we want to let go of, and how we step into the newer self, and have a theme for the next year. So just think of it. Me, I just put my theme for the next year on December 31st, like literally. Or 30th because you know the year is not quite gone lots can happen in this year you might be surprised in a nice way all surprises aren't bad it's some nice surprises so what really what went really right this year think about that and reflect on that and you you let go because you will have to let go of the year but let go in a way that it continues you in your forward momentum I have a friend who's always talking about momentum and just let it keep you moving forward in your goals, in your dreams. If you're an older person, 
it's not done till it's done so don't end it before it's ended if you are a caregiver or an entrepreneur it is stressful there are new things but you're still you you still got you to learn you still got you to reflect on who have you become in this journey in this three last 300 plus days so what do you let go of what do you embrace from my heart to yours, let's think about it for a little bit. We'll come back to this as the year goes on. I have some special announcements coming up for next week. And we'll just stick around. So, from my heart to yours, Dr. Land is signing out. Phoenix also is signing out. Say bye. And we will have it, call it a night or a day or a morning. Bye-bye. And see you tomorrow. And this is day 88. Well, how do you know? Bye-bye.